Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, today, I want to talk about a couple of weapons really quick. So, the Black Knife and the Blade of Calling. Just want to compare them up against each other, and I'm just trying to figure out and just break down as to which one's better for either PvE or PvP. Reason being, I'm comparing these two in particular is because they're very similar in how they work. Both get that split holy damage, very, very similar scaling, very so they're pretty much the same moveset, even down to the unique heavy attacks, as well as sharing a very similar weapon art. Uh, one thing I want to mention really quick, obviously this is like a new concept. I'm not sure if I actually want to do this in terms of like an actual weapon series where I just grab a whole bunch of weapons and just compare them up against each other and try and figure out which one's best for which scenario. If you do want to see something like that, just let me know in the comments. But as for now, we're going to be going over these two specific weapons. So just going over the requirements real quick or in the stats in general really quick. So the stat requirements and weight is going to be very similar. So nothing too crazy there. Both getting that same 110 critical stat, which is really nice. Uh, for whatever reason, in terms of its base damage, the Black Knife gets a lot higher base holy damage compared to the Blade of Calling, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why the Blade of Calling just doesn't get more, especially the fact that it gets a better fate scaling, so you'd expect it to have more holy damage there. Uh, but speaking of the scaling, so the Blade of Calling gets the B in Faith, C in Dexterity. Black Knife gets the B in Dexterity and a C in Faith. As for which one I do prefer, honestly, I'd rather have the Blade of Calling's uh, stat scalings. Purely because if you're going to be using those weapons, you're going to have you're going to want them for the weapon arts. And being that the weapon art purely scales off faith, you want to have something with a higher faith requirement or higher faith scaling. So being that the blade of calling has that higher faith scaling, I'd rather have a scaling like this. However, as we were talking about earlier, with the holy damage, the base holy damage being a lot lower, even at 60 faith that I have right now, the black knife is still out damaging the blade of calling, which really shouldn't be happening. Um, Obviously, at 80 faith, the Blade of Pulling would end up doing more damage. And the Black Knife is still really good in terms of its scaling. If you were going to go with a pure Dexterity build, but to spec into a little bit of faith because you want to use some incantations, it can be a very solid option for that. Um, but obviously, you won't be benefiting off much of the Weapon Art, being that you're not going to have much faith. But speaking of the Weapon Art, might as well go into that. So, firstly, just going over the Black Knife Weapon Art, which is the Blade of Death. Obviously, doing this jumping projectile attack which gets a lot of hyper armor as soon as you are airborne, so you'll be tanking pretty much every single attack without being staggered. And obviously on impact with the projectile, it will um, decrease a chunk of their maximum HP as well as, well as doing damage over time. Um, and it does all that for the for a 25 FP consumption. As for the Blade of Calling, the weapon art is Blade of Gold. So this one, exact same animation, exact same um, projectile speed, Distance goes just as far, same hyper armor values and all of that. Except this one just does a chunk of damage as well as doing a bunch of knockback damage as well, which is honestly really, really good. I'll show you in a second. But it does that for 17 FP, which is obviously a lot lower. So it's really nice to spam. Um, as for the damages, I'll just get into that really quick. Obviously testing it out on Steven. Just going to aggro him really quick. So, obviously with Blade of Death doing that chunk of health as well as damage over time, as you can see, that's actually not a correct value. Do that again, because he wasn't aggroed for whatever reason. But yeah, as you see, it did a little bit of stagger damage, but didn't do like a crazy amount of knockback damage. But it uh, did 1221. Now when you use the Blade of Calling, this one will do a bunch more initial burst of damage, but Obviously, it only does 1031, which is going to be a little bit less. But without the damage over time, this one will be doing more damage. But as you saw, it was doing a bunch of knockback damage as well. Like, pretty much sending him flying. And obviously, Steven's going to be one of the bigger enemies in the game as well. And only for 17 FP, it is really, really good to spam. Um, one thing you can do, obviously, you can power stance both of these weapons together. However, I'd probably, if I was going to power stance one of these, I would pair it with the Erdsteel Dagger instead. Um, Erdsteel Dagger, obviously getting the best face scaling out of any other daggers, and it is the only other dagger that shares the exact same unique heavy attacks that these two get. And obviously you get to infuse this weapon as well, so you get to put a weapon art or an Ash of War choosing of your own, so you can do something like Sacred Order and just do more holy damage overall. Um, but pairing these two together is still a very solid option. Like, if you were, I would probably just use, like, obviously lead off with Blade of Death, do that little bit of chunk damage, as well as doing that damage over time. And then you can just keep spamming the Blade of Gold and just keep knocking back your enemy. Obviously, not when he does that. But yeah, you can just keep spamming it. 
over and over again. It will do a whole bunch of knockback damage as well as really good poise damage on like pretty much most enemies, which is really, really good. At a lower FP cost, obviously not going to be doing as much damage, but it's still really good. Now, obviously, for PvE, which one would I prefer? If I was going to go do a playthrough with one or the other, I would honestly go with the Blade of Calling. Purely because of that knockback damage is going to come in handy a lot more than it's doing more damage in general. However, the Black Knife is going to be more versatile if you're just going to use this as like a backup weapon. A backup weapon, excuse me. So have this in your back pocket, switch to it, pretty much head an enemy with it, do a little bit of chunk damage, do damage over time, and then switch back to your normal weapons. So if it was, obviously if you just had any good old faith build, just putting this on in your back pocket is like a very solid option. Obviously it's a dagger, so having 110, 110 critical, so if you're going to use it for stealth... It's very solid for that also. But if I was just going to go use one or the other and do a playthrough with that, the Blade of Calling, I'd feel like, is just more beneficial that way. Now, as for PvP, they both obviously work very similar. They still do that damage over time. The Black Knife will do more total overall damage, and the Blade of Calling will actually send the enemies flying with its weapon art. Obviously, Black Knife's doing the more base damage still. Um, Now... With the Black Knife, the Blade of Death is actually going to be really good in PvP purely because that it does uh, does actually proc off Phantom Hits. So obviously Phantom Hits, they don't really hit, but like it'll do the same animation. And being that it kind of works as a status effect, it will actually proc its effect, which will obviously do that little bit of damage over time and decrease maximum HP. So as again, as I was saying earlier with the versatility, you probably don't need to have it as your primary option of the weapon. You can pretty much just switch to it, hit with it, and you just do like a whole chunk of damage pretty much for free because you're not actually hitting with it. However, with the Blade of Gold, it will knock the enemy back very far. So, obviously, they have to do that long recovery animation. Obviously, they're still going to have iframes, so they're not vulnerable to hit. But at that point, when you do knock them back, you can like rush them and just pretty much get like your combos on, keep them on their toes pretty much, which makes the Blade of Calling a lot better in that regard. So... I actually had more fun with the Blade of Calling in PvP, but you're obviously going to find a lot more success with the Black Knife, being that you're just going to do a whole bunch more damage for free, really. Um, but with that 17 FP cost, once again, it's not going to be much of a difference in PvP in terms of FP cost, because if you're dueling at least, you don't really need to worry about your FP because you can just have your Cerulean Flasks, and it doesn't really, the fight's not going to last that long anyway. But overall, in closing thoughts, which one do I think is best overall and I'm gonna have to give that one to the black knife purely because of its versatility you don't need to have this one as your primary weapon or option at all if you have any other if you just have any faith build just having this on like just switch to it if it's in your back pocket hit an enemy with it do that little bit of status effect and then switch back to your main weapons I just feel like it's very beneficial that way um whereas the blade of calling I just very I consider it the better primary option of a weapon compared to the black knife but they're still only daggers, so I wouldn't really use a dagger as a primary option of a fight. Pretty much under any circumstance. Although it still makes for a very solid weapon up. But being that the Black Knife, you can pretty much just benefit, of, benefit off it in any given circumstance. As well as you actually can find this weapon extremely early on, whereas the Blade, Blade of Calling is a lot later. So that's obviously a very important as well. Obviously as well as the fact that it does get that um, more holy damage also. And it's procs off Phantom Hits as well. If it wasn't for the... the higher holy base damage as well as the phantom hit procs i'd probably give it to the blade of calling but yeah the black knife is going to be the winner out of these two um but yeah rest of the video probably just be some more gameplay of the weapons and yeah just let me know in the comments if you actually want me to compare other weapons next and don't forget to like subscribe guys see you in the next peace